Hey all you Vampire Diaries fans out there. You can be a fan of the TV show, but right now I'm directed at the fans of the books. I got some pretty depressing news for you guys. It's also highly anger-inducing. I just recently read this today, and it angered me so much that I'm actually willing to put my face online to tell you guys flat out what's going on. L.J. Smith has been fired from writing her books, specifically the Vampire Diaries. The company, company, it's really a book packaging thing that sends them to her publisher, has pretty much fired her from writing the Vampire Diaries series. The last L.J. Smith written Vampire Diaries book was Midnight. You guys know how good that book was, right? Well, look at the new ones. Yeah, the plot lines aren't that bad. But, is it me? Or can anyone else tell that it's not her? I mean, she's my favorite author. Aside from, like, Shakespeare and stuff like that. She's my favorite author as far as it goes to supernatural mystery drama and romance books and it highly angers me that they have the nerve to cut her out of producing her own books or not really cut her out of producing them but cut her out of writing them herself they assigned it to a ghostwriter who's gonna he writes her books for her which she doesn't want, and puts her name on the cover. It says, created by L.J. Smith, when it's not. It's not hers. In a letter that she wrote to a fan, because I don't, I don't know what the original email from the fan was, but it must have had something to do with her being an awesome author or something and a new book coming out. But what she wrote to the fan was, thank you for your beautiful email. I completely understand why some fans get over-eager, and especially if they think there is bad news for them. I hope that you will enjoy Midnight, as it is truly the story of Damon finding his deepest feelings for both Elena and Bonnie. And his feelings are definitely not platonic. In fact, to be blunt, without Bonnie, and something that Bonnie does at the end, Damon would be permanently dead. But right now I have to tell you something that makes me so sad and devastated, as bad in fact as I have ever felt except for when my mother died. It's confidential, but it's been so long, so long now that I just can't keep up the trade with good-hearted readers like you. To put it briefly, I've been fired from writing The Vampire Diaries, and I've been fighting and fighting this since last fall, but there's absolutely no recourse. Midnight is the last L.J. Smith book in The Vampire Diaries series. It probably sounds completely impossible to say that I've been fired from writing my own books, but the truth is that they are not mine, even though I write every word. When I was called by an agent and asked to write the Vampire Trilogy, that agent wasn't from a publisher, but from what is now Alloy Entertainment, and they are a book packager. A book packager sells books already made with covers and all to publishers like Harper Collins, my publisher for The Vampire Dives and The Secret Circle. And both these series were written for hire, which means that the book packager owns the books. Although I didn't even understand what for hire meant back in 1990 when I agreed to write the books for them, I found it eventually to my horror and dismay. It means that even though I have written the entire series, I don't any own anything about The Vampire Diaries. And from now on, the books will be written by anonymous go an anonymous ghostwriter, just as the Stephen's diaries are. It will so say, created by L.J. Smith on the cover, but I'm not even allowed to change a word in the ghostwriter's book. You might wonder why the book packager and Harper would do this to me. I'm not sure either. But usually a book packager gets very submissive, non-assertive writers to write for them. 
Not to mention that most of them, writers or ghostwriters, have had a lot of publishers turn their books down. Book packagers are used to do a lot of editing for their author's books because the books need intense editing. But I am not submissive, and I always fight editing. In Midnight, I had to fight to keep many Bonnie scenes in the book. I'm not at all sure they liked the things I was doing with Bonnie and Damon. They kept trying to cut such scenes. And of course they didn't like Elena's behavior at all. They want, to st they want strictly Stelena books. So last fall when I gave them the book Phantom, they didn't even bother to give me edits. Instead I was given a letter addressed to the ghostwriter by name telling her to completely rewrite my book. They wouldn't even listen when I pleaded and promised to do Phantom as they required. They simply took the series and gave it to a ghostwriter to write not only the Hunter's Trilogy, but whatever comes after that. They've always tried to minimize my participation in the Vampire Diaries. On the very first original books in 1990, my name was almost invisible on the cover. And now they have my manuscript of Phantom, and the book the ghostwriter writes from it may even sound like I wrote it in places, because they have a right to use my work as they see fit. But the book after that, that will be pure ghostwriter. I would guess that they think you readers won't say or care about the differences in writing styles and skills. I have said this to another Bayman fan, and I'll say it now. I had so many plans for Bonnie in the Hunters trilogy. First of all, in Phantom, I had her showing a lot more emotion, grieving right alongside Lena because Damon does something almost unbelievable for Bonnie in Midnight, and he doesn't get out on skate. I won't spoil it for you if you don't know, but they wanted Bonnie to have just put it all behind her, and with Bonnie's character, I don't think so. She is always completely open-hearted with her emotions. Even though she has matured so much in Midnight, she is still Bonnie, who says exactly what she thinks, even though she hasn't had a dose of black magic wine. I wanted to write Moonsong and give Bonnie an admirer who is just as sweet and even more naive than she is, a pure white wolf with radiant blue eyes who happens to be a werewolf with moonlight colored hair and the same blue eyes when he's human. I wanted to show Damon's surprising reaction to Xander, the good werewolf. Not at all happy about it, as much as he accidentally almost kills the poor innocent wolf. I also wanted to show how Damon rescues Bonnie from a vicious wolf pack attack and let her fly away with him. And I wanted to show how Bonnie, who knows a little medicine from her sister Mary, helps Damon deliver Caroline's twin babies when she goes in labor deep into the woods. But that's one scene that I would have had to fight tooth and nail for. Because even the glow that Damon and Bonnie share at seeing new life come into the world wouldn't be enough for them to call it decent. They would undoubtedly have tried to make me cut it, but I still want to write it so badly. I even had the last book in that trilogy plotted out where Stefan's worst nightmare comes true and he takes so much blood from Lena that he has to be taken to a ho that she has to be taken to a hospital for a massive transfusion. He then decides to influence Lena so that she will forget his existence and he does so to Damon and Bonnie in Meredith's consent consenturation. I wanted to show how this affected each one of the characters and how Bonnie once again begins to write in her diary, since Elena's diary is also forgotten along with Stefan's. I like to write things from Bonnie's point of view, as I did in Dark Reunion, but none of these things will happen, because I won't be around to write it. And I just can't keep up the pretense any longer with wonderful fans like you. I can't pretend that Bonnie and Damon's relationship will continue to grow as Damon learns to respect her as well as to love her. She's become his girl, but I can't follow up on that. I had to tell the ghostwriter that he would address Bonnie as Little Redbird when he speaks to her. Sorry for the long rant, but the trade is over for me. I don't know how Phantom will turn out, with a blend of my manuscript and the complete rewriting of it by the ghostwriter. But I dread it, and even more do I dread the next books, what the next books will be like. I worked so hard to make The Vampire Diaries a good series, only to have the unthinkable happen to me. And I have no one to blame but myself for be for not being submissive enough. Lisa L. J. Smith. Now, to you fans out there, tell me that doesn't break your heart. Not even break your heart. Just make you upset. I know it makes me upset. She's my inspiration to write. She's the reason I do write. I just say, how about 
there's a whole worldwide community out there on YouTube. So, I say, let's all try to come together with ideas on how she can get her books back. Because I know you guys want her to. Because, if you're a fan of L.J. Smith, you know that's not her. And, if you like her books as much as I do, you want it to be hers. Not some random ghostwriters. Even if you don't like her as an author, or don't like her books or whatever, help us figure out how to, for how for her, uh, help us figure out how she can get her books back. Because what they're doing is the same, in my mind at least, as hiring an artist, having them do a wonderful mural, and then firing them, and creating a bunch of mm, crap and putting their name on it. It ruins their reputation as an artist, as an author, as whatever they are. And a lot of you guys can relate to that. So I say, just put your, com put your comments, ideas, reactions, whatever, in the section below. And let's see what we can do to help her. And anyone else who has to face this. Thank you guys.